get weird for me. So anyway, Spirit Fair has finished downloading. Uh, thank you for attending my TED Talks and uh, my weird um, hobbyist kind of approach to uh, gaming the algorithm. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, these streams are awesome and cozy. I appreciate that. Thank you. That, that makes it worth it. From a spiritual point of view, it makes it worth it. From a financial point of view. Ah! Do what you love and hope to continue to have a good time. I, I, I appreciate that and I'm trying. Primarily here for you and chat, not the games. That's, that's good too. Like, that's what I aim to do. Like, I don't necessarily want the games to be the feature the games are like kind of a platform for me to chat hopefully and then also you know uh, some kind of engagement as well but like mostly i'd like to engage with chat and make something if i was around in those cdda streams i would neck myself kept most of the time uh i thought that was how you found me i'm a 10 i thought you found me via cdda doesn't sound entitled just reflecting on it i think it sounds entitled because it's like oh man i only got 50 views only 50 people 50 people decided to sit down and watch my video only 50 people well i mean that that's a lot of people really when you think about it you know i i don't outrule the idea that maybe i'm listen this isn't me being self-deprecating but i think at a certain point it is worth reflecting on yourself as an artist and it is worth asking the question maybe you're just not entertaining um i think it's a healthy thing to consider every once in a while but it can lead someone to some unfortunate decisions maybe at a, a certain point uh at, a, at some point it is worth hanging the hat and saying i'm just not uh, entertaining enough to make this viable, right? That's not, that's a healthy question to ask. That's a question that anyone who's trying to do anything, whether it's game dev or comics, anything with some kind of ex expression, artistic expression of any kind, um, when it's just like purely, it is luck based, it's talent based, it's, uh, you know, you just got to ride the algorithm in some kind of weird way. Sometimes you just have to ask the hard questions. And the hard question is like, maybe this is just not going to work, right? I like to think that if I was good enough to uh, accrue, um, a, you know, a couple of thousand people that I can continue to grow things. But I also look at other YouTubers that have plateaued at like 50,000 subscribers for years and that's as much as they grow and that's it and that's as much as they can get from the platform and that's just that's just it not everyone is cut out to be a markiplier or a pewdiepie you know uh not everyone is a northern lion even or um a splatter cat or you know Hey, child, what are you doing? You're violating the law. Yeah. CDDA streams were truly great, though. I remember them fondly. They were good. I might return to CDDA. I was around the first CUD videos, but I kind of didn't like you then. <laughs> you sheesh. The need to change quickly when I stumbled on your stream. I'm well, I'm glad. Also, you're saying that as if it being entertaining is a requisite to be successful. I get that too. Sometimes it's just a lottery win. Anyway, Spirit Fair, let's do this. This game is supposed to be very wholesome and also maybe a little bit, um, uh, you know, touching. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to handle that as as a as a people. <laughs> Yo, is that, um, the, 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 is this a Hades reference? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, ah, finally. Ready, ready your emotions, people. I am about to be... Uh, uh, let me... Do you guys want a fancy voice for this? Hold on a second. Probably not, but let, let's do it anyway. Why not? Less echo, more reverb. It's fine. All right, here we go. Uh, finally... I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Is there actually voice acting in this game that I was talking over? Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I have had... I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Ah. Cat here. Yo, cat. Why do you have to tangle up the cord every time? Yo. God damn. I see. You two will share the burden then. Take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Big simple. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts. The Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Stella. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be ready. Be really careful with it. Everlight. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. What? What are you... Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments, you are the new spiritfarers, after all. One last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
See ya. This, okay, this guy's gonna work. I'm going now. I'll see ya. I'm gonna go get, pick up a bag of milk. It's gonna be... Uh, get, you want anything? I uh, want like a caffeinated coffee or something? Alright. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. See ya. Tea posing cat. All right. I've actually I've had this game for a long time and it's been on my to-do list for a long time so I'm, I'm very excited to play this finally I don't know if I should use a controller or not I'm gonna use the keyboard for now press spacebar to jump hold spacebar to jump higher hold sail well, well hold W while jumping to climb three platforms uh, do we want a fancy voice for this one I, I think uh, I think Karen's gone forever, so let's see if I've got something here. Less reverb, less echo. This is a mainstay character for a little while. Stella. Uh, Stella. Stella. Hello. Nah. Nah. It really is you. Stand up straight. And let me get a look at you. Speech modulator is the best thing you ever bought. <laughs> Uh, I've been wanting to watch this game for a long time. Just waiting for someone nice to play it. Yo And that's why you're leaving Let me get a look at you You look good Daffodil is here too. I see well, I'll have to find a lint roller then And it might not be that obvious after all. It's me Gwen Yo, is this a Spider-Man reference? I'm sorry. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit bearer. You were the one replacing Karen? I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Yo, what? I played this game a bit and it was quite chill. Big question. Does a work changed... Karen. Does work change Karen so he became so big or he just was like that in the first place? Also, how that fool even fit in that in the boat? Well, yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question. I have to imagine um, he was probably all day. I don't know. We're thousands of years old. So I have to imagine that, um, you know, the uh, working that long eventually changes anyone. And also, I know that the other spirits have kind of funny shapes, too, so I don't know. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Did the boat shrink mm -hmm. with the time, do you think? That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the Spiritfarer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Ah, I fell. I fell the full distance, but we can climb. We have the technology. I like the the animations in this game are definitely good. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Are we last we last be a pirate now are wonderful I'm not one to jump for joy but this feels good much better than anticipated mm -hmm. so the way I see it this boat is yours now don't you think mm -hmm. incoming a message from Kevbo about furries I'm anticipating it good and as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. 
How? Hug. There you go. Oh, much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Where is our local furry artist? Yeah, Faust. Uh, Zagale Faust. I already made it and you missed it, bro. I saw it, but I was expecting another one, Kevbo. Honestly, you disappoint me. <laughs> oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness, or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. The, the irony of someone complaining about dust when they're smoking. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. Super! I'm sorry. I can't help myself. And then his jokes are garbage. <laughs> but he is the only one who can fix your boat. I really wish I could roll my t uh, my my R's. Mm -hmm. We should uh, head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make uh, this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Oh, well, I was planning an escape, mm -hmm. remember? And you know me. I plan things me meticulously. Mm -hmm. Very meticulously oh go open up that cabin Stella mm -hmm. the map projector should be simple enough to use and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard <laughs> do -do 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 -do. this is the shuffle we be shuffling uh, start your boat in Stella's cabin Has acclimated to me so much that me being even a slightly bitter better person has disappointed him. It's my uh, it's my uh, uh, way of manipulating Kevbo into being a better person <laughs> by being disappointed when he is uh, succumbs to his his um, deep desires. Do I continue disappointing him and derive pleasure from that, or do I be a bad person and get pleasure from that? I know, what a divide. I guess it's up to me to ham up the disappointment of uh, seeing how much Kevbo has improved. <laughs> Dang, Kevbo. Where is the message talking about this dear person and how... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to think like Kevbo. If I thought like Kevbo, I think I'd neck myself. Oh no, it's happening! Uh, this art style is great. Kind of like old Tintin books. Yes! Heck yeah! I love Tintin. Love me. There's a comic. There's a freaking comic. I love me a comic. A Tintin comic. You know what's a great comic? Freaking asterisk and obelisk. I love me some asterisk and obelisks. Obelisks. Love, love that. Confirm travel. I don't like that I have to press enter. I wish I could have just clicked on it. He did it. He made a necking joke. And then twin swords unsubscribes. I wanted a nice person to play this game. Stella, as I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Karen, the Everdoor, the Spiritfarers, this place, this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best. Clearly, we're both people who were murdered in the back streets of Library of Rowena. Try to make sense of it mm -hmm. all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. <laughs> but you put your mo wallet where your mouth is, Kim. <laughs> Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you something, some space for now. Don't hesitate to, to explore the mm. ship. You can even try, give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Don't make it weird. That's, that's what I say, don't make it weird. There, channeled my inner Mimi. 
You're doing great, Kevbo. I'm cheering for you. It's Bizarro Day. How do I... Where's this fishing rod? Wee. Aw, yeah. Where's the fishing rod? Game as a fishing mini game confirmed good. Yay! Those sevens were all the ones I've given so far. <laughs> In the back, back of the boat, the balcony. Let's fish one more time before we go get shark lad. Fishing! I caught a boot. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Now, he mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blue sta uh, blueprint station. It's the only way to clear the, this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Boat! Boat. We on a boat. A yay, an old shoe. I like shark lad. Welcome to my ship. Okay, hold on. Welcome to... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, hello? Wrong, wrong one. Hold on. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. For my prices are our customer's best friend. I am Albert been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new shipfarer? Of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Quinn was right to appoint you towards my humble uh, enterprise. Uh, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, uh, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. I built him a newer, better one. Is that a better reward? Of course! He would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call it a loan. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's uh, just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. I'll get you started with a loan that'll take you the rest of eternity to pay off. <clears throat> um, yeah. Set sail, Captain. Capitan? You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. I don't know if you can trust a salesman. He looks like a shark. <laughs> I wouldn't play pool against him anyway. I'll be honest, really getting the feeling of this game is heckin' gay as heck. <laughs> nice. Good. Albert gave it to you for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you. Mm. Ominous. 
Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now, cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above and your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Har har fiddle dee dee. A clean ship is for me. Uh, edit. Uh, this. Salvage. Select. Hooray! Back. Back. Wonderful! Wonderful! You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Amen 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 have fun. My si my sister says Tom Nook. Yeah, it is Tom Nook. Love me a Tom Nook. L love me a Nook from from the the woods. Uh, can one equip? Someone said equip the boots. Is that something I can do? I'm afraid of death even more, knowing that we all become furries when we die. <laughs> No game can be all bad if it has fishing and your own customizable ship. Legitimate. Har har fiddle dee dee. I and you. <laughs> I am a furry. Build. We. I did it. Can we build another one? Nah. There you go. This guest house is pretty, very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Clipped and backed up. There you go. Be sure to sa save that in the, the clip. Oh, that's the wrong button. Be sure to save that in the clips channel on the Discord. You can join the Discord and put it in the Clips channel. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can do it. Wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am? But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go, as absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen on board. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the uh, plans for it in there, mm -hmm. as well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly, mm -hmm. and there's only one way to get some. I, look, I should have told you th uh, when I first met you here, Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can, it can take many forms and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these ki jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map so you can't miss it. So, I'll take some time to prepare myself. The deer is smoking. My young and impressionable mind uh, now craves the nicotine. <sighs> Tom Nook is like a shopkeeper who makes you live in debt, life debt practically. You own him money when you, whenever you, oh, you don't know Tom Nook? I, I said it and have, I have no clue. Um, Tom Nook is uh, kind of the best though because he does basically he basically gives you a loan with no collateral, no um, 
like credit no nothing like he just hands you a house and a, a loan and says pay it off whenever don't worry about it just pay it off we yeah, I like how the the um, the like um the impressions of Tom Nook have become quite light while uh, whilst Bruce Wayne has become quite dark over time because uh, in actuality he's, he's a lot more forgiving than most um, you know cartoon billionaires making this place smell like lavender so we got to go to the fear place again I, I really wish I could just click on it I don't know why I have to hit enter very small nitpick, I know, but it, it bugs me. All right, let's try and catch a fish while we sail. You can see how long the journey is up there. Die! Oh. All right! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, drink some coffee while I do this. Yeah, I mean, smoking lavender isn't really any better than smoking cigarettes. Got some wholesome vibes going on here. Yay, I got an old shoe. All right. One more fish for the road. Expect extremely hard drugs that ruin your life. All right, time to catch some jellies. Um, here we are. I didn't want to sit down. Oh, it's outside. Oops. Damn, here they come. Remember, set your eyes on ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. So I, I have done played a little bit of this game, not a lot. Um, and I, as I recall, you have to like jump around and catch them. Got some glims. You gotta climb some buildings for some of the harder ones. Oh no. Oh no. I want that one. Missing all the jellies. I oh, know I fell. gonna like is this does this just go on forever until okay maybe not okay we're good now okay i'm really impressed you rock it you rocked out there tumbling and diving like a shooting star and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that you definitely haven't lost your touch stella and you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen go for it i'll be uh patiently waiting slowly digesting myself at least you're not injecting the devil's lettuce. <laughs> I don't even smoke regular. Had me worried for a moment. I wish I lived in a world where you're doing your cardio, literally deposited money in your <laughs> in your wallet. Okay. 
guest house, kitchen. So we can do fun stuff. You'll notice that houses or uh, rooms kind of change. We could also put this on the other side, but this one means that we can, uh, like, you may have noticed, like, I can use the houses to kind of jump around to catch certain things, ingredients. So depending on how we build our house, um, we'll have a better chance of collecting certain important ingredients. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Cook. Kernels. Wait. Kernel. I have to, I have to cook for the spirits. Bring, bring them to the afterlife. Kernel. We can cook multiple at once. That adds to the cooking time. It's too dark to navigate. It will be mm -hmm. possible again during, uh, again at dawn. Reading is hard. Oh, hey, popcorn. Hey, uh. Let's cook some of our fish. Building kitchen, DF reference. Right? Forgotten beasts incoming. Building a house, Hearthstone Skyrim DLC <laughs> No, it's a it's an Animal Crossing reference. I shouldn't say that. It might genuinely be. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light of being, well, dim. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start, start up again in the morning. Oh, and I'm talking about... And talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Uh, I've never done any kind of drug, except for drinking alcohol. I have also been drunk two times. I really worry about how much heat is in that dang kitchen. Time to go to sleep with the oven on. And that's how we brought all of the spirits to the afterlife. <laughs> Woo! Yo! Oh. Yo! Yo! Wahoo! Wahoo! <clears throat> my, my voice is really broken right now. We are you? I was on a legal... In my country, ADHD medicine for some time, which helped me with my productivity. Got that, got that over-the-counter meth. Cooking is fun. I like cooking. Time to do the shuffle. This is how we do the shuffle. Hey, everyone. I'm going to teach you how to do the sponge. First, you grab your leg and you put it in the air. Then you grab the other one and jam it right up there. And you kick your buns and lunch. Now you're doing the sponge. This is the doing the sponge, sponge, do the sponge. Gonna do uh, the sponge. Sponge, 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 the sponge. Now you're doing the sponge. Do the bunch, bunch, bunch. Do the bunch. Gotta do the bunch. They love us. Yay, we're popular. Sorry. I get trapped in a loop sometimes. Toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. I like it on. It's fine. Ring the bell. Bye. 
Uh, they are great, but super addictive. Yeah, that's why I stopped taking it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. There you go. Have some food. Well, I don't. I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. What the heck? The sponge. So what? What is? What do spirits run on? You need a good meal once in a while. We'll be uh, up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm. I'm sure you remember. I've always loved comfort food, and what I would die. For a cup of coffee but i'm not that picky i can eat anything just never the same thing twice oh and before i forget here's something i was supposed to give you i'm not sure exactly how it works but an obol is a symbol of passage it's a fee each spirit has to pay you but something tells me you knew that already okay let's keep on improving this craft as you much have, must have seen in your blueprint table there is both a field and a garden blueprint which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. Farming minigame? Is that a Sims reference? <laughs> you should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. I need you to visit. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that we don't have South American food places at all? I never had a taco in my life. Oh, that is sad. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostane Cove. There's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Oh, ball. <laughs> There's a really bad joke in my head that I will never tell. Can we build a farm? Field? We need wood and limestone. Doing the sponge, sponge. Do the sponge. And we're gonna do the sponge. Sponge, 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 sponge. And I'm gonna do the sponge. Mustang Cove. All right, let's go there. Doing the sponge, sponge. There, the sponge. Yeah, we gotta do the sponge. Okay, this furry game might get a pass. Okay. Me, uh, no mean encouragement. I just glad he was able to be productive during that time. I did learn some recipes from my Purian friend. Sponge, sponge. Do the sponge. I wish y'all could try them one day. Since I never ate them proper, I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, once tried to make them myself because we don't have them here either, but I completely messed up the guacamole. Guacamole, okay, someone's gonna get mad at me, I don't care. Um, guacamole is easy. If you can get your hands on some salsa, which I assume is available at any supermarket, so that's my ignorance showing. Um, then you just basically mix in some avocado with some salsa and throw in some lime juice. You can throw in lemon juice. I prefer lemon juice personally because it's a bit more of an acid than the lime and it's a bit more flavorful. But I think um, most people will probably say put in lime juice. I really like making and eating guacamole, but I'm probably not making it properly since I never had real stuff. Eh. As long as it's good. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I mean, you can just also, like, cut up some tomatoes and onions and stuff and throw it in the avocado. But, like, I think the salsa just is super easy. Because it's pretty much got all the stuff you would want anyway. And also the salsa comes with a little bit of extra sauce. That makes it taste good. We don't have salsa at all. Oh, wow. 
That sucks. I won't lie. Well, you see, yeah. Mm. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather bar barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche if you ask me. This game kind of reminds me of that chef game. Um, can't remember what it's called. Mm. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Congratulations, for you uh, have become death, the destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. We can uh, go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be uh, next to the raft. Yay, for de deforestation. Get them berries. Yummy berries. Uh, I know what game you mentioned. You, I don't remember the name. It's like called Chef Brigadine or something. Hold on a second. Now I have to look up. Look it up. Uh, Battle Chef Brigade. That's the one. I kind of want to try that one too at some point. Yummy berries. Oh boy, I love the berries. Oh, interesting. You you have to wait for the full animation when you miss it mess it up. There you go. Something in here. The cat be looking a little goofy. Wow. What's wrong with a cat? Cilantro jalapenos are ser as, um, a bit tough to find. Perhaps I need to order stuff online. Cilantro. Good luck finding that stuff online in any way that it'll, it'll like be fresh when it arrives. That sucks. I, 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 you know, that's brutal. I'm sorry, I'm a 10. We're gonna make a field. Field time. Oof. Uh, I kinda wanna like move things around a little bit. Hold on. We're gonna. We're gonna move things a bit. It's funny how I can't use my mouse to like click on things, you know? Wait, is that the garden? Was that the garden or the field? I think it was the field. We could do something like this. I don't like I don't mind this though. Oh, you can Oh, that's interesting. You can like combine them. Field. Oh, uh, it's better looking than I thought. There is a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Big simple. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word for this. 
Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Yes, uh, set up a shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc. Oh, Tom Nook reference? A shady retail. A shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird then. What's wrong with the cat is that it's actually follow that it follows you around. Is it? It is Tom Nook. Yo. Okay, we're going to Hummingbird. My sister taping cayenne peppers, and you don't have to add cilantro, just gives flavor. Guac tastes good anyway. And add salt. Yeah, salt is key. Getting the getting the good uh, recipes for the good guac. You guys like champagne? Goes good with the guacamole. Almost night time. Love me some champagne. Tom Nook is a tanuki, though. Yeah, tanuki. Um, are they just raccoons, or are they like specifically a mythological kind of raccoon? Any anyone in chat ever watch Pom Poco? That's a weird one. It has not... I wouldn't say it's not aged well, because it was always weird, I think. Tom Nookie. I don't know. Oh, wait, what? No! No, stop it. No, I have to wait for her to come with me. All right, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to go back. Tom Nook is not a tanuki. You can tell that by the fact that he is successfully wearing pants. Point. All right, I guess I can't do it now. They are Japanese raccoon dogs. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. But clearly I gotta help that lad. These are all people maybe I can help? Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mar Mary? Oh, Margaret? It's Missy. No, wait, no. Esh. Don't tell me it's... Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll get it someday. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the Mountain Gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability Eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Huh? Yo, is that a Dungeons and Dragons reference? Oh. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this mount monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it needs to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use Oballs to activate it. But to get Oballs, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find uh, soon find more lost souls like me. Oh, oh. 
Robin, someone blind. Robin, your house. Your house is mine to blindly steal from. Ha ha. You cannot stop me. I noticed there's something up there. I don't know how to get that. Oh god, even in death, you remain married. <laughs> oh yo, raccoon lad is kind of, uh, kind of great. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Let's talk to him first. Uh, let's get a voice for this guy. Step up. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird ever since forever. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Uh, oops. I guess I sold some fish. No, stop selling fish. Wow, the controls in this game are actually very strange. Oh yeah, I'm pressing one and two to like move through things here. Okay, so sell, buy. A key for Hummingbird. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder in Hummingbird. That's a lot of glims right there, bud. Um, this is these are field seeds. When planted in the field, this will sprout into flax which can be turned into woven and woven into linen I don't have enough for that 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 I don't have enough for anything can we sell some stuff uh not really not enough to make get the seeds we need Uh, hi highly far stretch indeed. That was a D&D reference that a uh, bit far fetched pimple. I actually retract that statement. They may actually, I don't think they have a different word for normal raccoons and Japanese ones. It's a one to one translation. This taco talk got me hungry. I guess Turkish street food will help the <laughs> hungry homie once again. How much money do I have? What was that? These prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Whoa. What? Madam, oh, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But, I... I can assure you, my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses, just fair prices. Uh... I... Stop being so stop being dishonest at once. Next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? But yes. Yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. What? I'll even give you a discount. Hey you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make, to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Uh. Stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me. I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. 
Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I'm okay. There we go. Those are more reasonable now. Three of those. Uh, three of these. Some coffee beans. Oh, we should have got more coffee beans. Okay, I'll sell some fish. We need them coffee beans. Two, two coffee beans. This is a great game. Just realized I've watched you for around 1.8 years now. Oh my god. Jesus. Well, thank you. That's a, that's a lot of years. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Pierre? <laughs> that son of a gun. The raccoons originate from North America and they belong to the raccoon family. Whereas the raccoon dog, which is also known as Tanuki, originated from East Asia and they belong to an entirely different family known as Canada. I know all about Canada. I can tell you anything you want to know about Canada. We've got great syrup. Oh, look at that double jump. If only I had another obal. In Canada, you have to kiss kiss the fish. That giggle is cute, but ominous. Fox. Okay, time to grow some coffee. We'd be, we'd be growing coffee here, and corn here, and linen here. Probably I bought too many seeds. I don't need that many seeds, probably. How are you doing? Sleepy. Oh. Uh, we, I guess we got through the night already. Both wolves as well as foxes belong to the Canada family. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget, to, you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask me my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spiritfarer, and spiritfarers may find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, and however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of help. You'll bet, um, I bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go. Let's sail. Um, but hold on, let me give you some food. And I'm gonna make it popcorn, because it's comfort food. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Hug time! Okay, Bimple, tell me then how legendary Canadians named, like, if you know about Canada so much. Uh, uh huh. Mostly, um, you know, most people don't know this, but a lot of Canadians have, uh, their last name is Leaf. Um, we actually all originate under, under, you know, the same, uh, umbrella. So, you know, I'm Bimple Leaf, but you could be like Tom Leaf, um, Bob Leaf, you know, and, uh, you know, other than that, like, you know, um, most, most families are named after their profession. So, um, most, uh, most Canadian candidates are, are named Jack. So, you know, like I, I had to have my name legally changed, but I, I used to be Jack Leaf. A lot of Jack Leafs up here. Yeah. Under the same tree. Uh, the the syrup doesn't fall far from the tree up here, so a lot of a lot of jack jack leaves. 
Oh, look at that. Dangerous waters. We can't go over there yet. We, we need a better boat. We're gonna need a bigger boat. We could get some more of that stuff. We could go to this island. There's treasures and stuff there. Ooh, treasure. Ooh. Uh, there's something fun here. Oh, isn't that the where I have to go eventually? Do I have to like maybe I do have to go here? Can I go here? Where, what's my current um, quest? How do I find that out? Gather resources then return to Albert's shipyard and add this wonderful mailbox to your boat. I don't have nearly the glims We need more glims, which means we do have to do one of those fear spots Find a passenger on Barkensheim Creek or Hummingbird. So we're on Hummingbird right now. This is uh, Barkensheim Creek, so let's let's try going there. Maybe we can find some uh, glims on the way. Thank you. This was a learning experience. I'm starting to mod in Canadian faction into Cud right away. Amazing. I think he's joshing. Obviously, his name last name is simple, not Leaf. No, yeah, my last name is simple. My first name is Big. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But you know, since I I'm legally um, obligated, uh, you know, Trudeau mandated that everyone keep their last name, so I'm actually Big Simple Leaf. I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here taking care of me in my final hours. You'll always, you've always cared so damn much about mm. others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm. You just got out of elementary school. Uh, we just got out of elementary school. You were wa wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were yelling back at my father like you were an, on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Water rituals will be done in maple syrup. That, that means you have to add an entirely new liquid. Uh, we, 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 I think we would accept um, honey as a viable trade. Am I supposed to do something with those little things? I should uh, water the plants. Came first, Jack, whom you got limber, lumber from, or the lumberjack who was referred to as just Jack? I don't know if I understand the question. That's a chicken and egg right there, Neville. Can you change stream title midstream? It's still named library. It should be called library and vote, but I can change the name of the stream. Hold on a second. Library and spirit fair. And I'll go ahead and change the name to well, this is like a highly um, <laughs> Dissonant stream right here because we got spirit fairer uh, Which is a very uh, you know Very wholesome game up against library Rowena possibly the least wholesome. <laughs> okay, someone's gonna disagree with me on that But you know what I mean like it's it's uh it's got an edge to it for sure. Okay, let's go to shore. No half measures. New liquid means new liquid. Okay. That means uh, no half measures, I'm saying. That means you have to put trees in the game that, um, when harvested, give you syrup. Maybe you could do like dog thorn leaves uh, have a chance to drop syrup. Does not do well in metrics, so we might as just as well purge it from the title ASAP. Well, I can't, I don't want to do that because then if someone watches this stream looking for Spirit Fair content, then they're gonna be met with like, "Ooh, I can't wait to put needles in someone's cake." Like, you know, it's not not kind on my part to lead them astray, especially into that wall. Syrup trees. 
at one point when I, I very briefly was trying to learn how to mod caves of cud I did want I did actually genuinely try to put farming in the game So that you could like when you um, whenever you harvested you would get a ch there was a chance that you would um, Get seeds and then you could like try and start a farm plot Oh Great you're here listen Special voice for this character. On. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. Uh, don't make it weird, chat. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of uh, citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless it's just down there in the water. I'll do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Yo, the music. Hold S and press spacebar to dive. Is that the Quebecois spelling? Spirit fairer? I don't know. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out of, aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building, I don't have uh, my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it too much. Let's just go to your boat. Referring to the title, that last R would be silent though. Spirit Fair. I wish there were some kind of smithing in the game. Those random forges, anvils, and ingots make me sad. Well, there's tinkering, which is kind of like that. I'm sure you'll need someone who could make repairs on your boat at some point. Good to know. It is okay, the title is still readable. Did I really break the title? Oh, whoops. Sprite Fairer. This, this, uh, this stream is sponsored by Sprite. And Carbonated Coke. Get carbonated and caffeinated. You do it, you idiot. Get get coke. Get it. Pour it in your mouth hole. Oh. Oh wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Anyone want a spring cranberry? Yummy Sprite. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprised? Happily, I, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. Can't wait to see the sights, the seas with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's get set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that... Uh... uh Frago. That's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go. For a fan. Excited Mimi. Sprite cranberry. I've never had a Sprite cranberry. Oh. What? Did I mess up there? I wasn't paying attention.
Oh, I see. I have to. I have to be gentle with it now. No. Oh. One more. Okay. Great job. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I had no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Full ball gotten. Would you look at that? Like, do we need another house? You've got two old balls. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? I'd try and add them, add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. We. That means we're gonna have to go back. Um, oh, can we like go the long way around? I must find the Sprite drink. I want to try. Anyone want a Sprite Cranberry? It is fishing time. Gonna fish me a fish. Gonna fish it once. Gonna fish it twice. Better not break my rod. I wouldn't want to break my rod. Once the rod is broke, I do not know how to repair it. All right. Bay shrimp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's, what's happening? Stella, come here, quick. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Almost forgot, have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings in bottles are pretty handy resources, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. if I'm out of bottles, which is fine. Limbs are good. Thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. You looked pretty awesome catching those bolts of lightning all over the place. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Okay, have I ever been wrong about fishing minigame game good statement? Well, uh, Hades has fishing in it. <laughs> 
that's uh i guess you know hades is, is fine I, I like hades fine uh skyrim has fishing in it there's a i'm sure that's pretty divisive me even saying that but you know um what game has fishing in it that i would say is objectively not good did hunt down the freeman have fishing in it <laughs> I don't know what is Heisenberg, but thank you for the compliment. If people being nice to you was a drug, you would be Heisenberg. Breaking Bad reference? <laughs> Yo. It was added 10 years or something later. Still counts. If it's raining, do I have to water the crops? IMO Stardew fishing minigame is terrible, but the game is good, so it doesn't break the rule. I, um, I commiserate with that. I don't super agree but i do understand not liking the uh stardew mission, uh, fishing game um uh, have some fish oh boy i just love food keep them coming can't get enough of it I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Uh, snack. Plain. I don't have any more comfort food, so berries it is. Mm hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. Mm, fish it is. Thanks, I love it. Skyrim has icebergs. Is that a Skyrim reference? He's done it. Yay. Double jumps. Uh, double jump is objectively always a fun mechanic. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll get an, uh, be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Seeds! <laughs> Upstairs crew forever. such a fright that cat he looks familiar daffodil is that you oh yes yes it is ever so silky aren't you well then that must mean stella is that really you what a fantastic turn of events is that your boat over there at sea you've come to rescue me again i see well not so fast this time i'll be the one doing the teaching you can bet on it let's get going then we have some lessons to go through 
I feel like I am running out of room. Movement options are always fun. Yeah. I'll expand on that and say any mobility increasing the mib abilities are always fun. Heck yes. Same brain cell. Double jump mind? I feel like he's gonna be like a samurai or something. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I can, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flow flowering already. Oh no. Is that a snake? Oh, getting out of this crystal is... what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Hug time! Ah, oh, you're sweet. You need food? You want some berries? Oh, thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Okay. Let's see, how's your mood? Don't know what they like. Was recently hugged. Happy. We should hug the frog. You gotta love the sights here. The sea, the breeze, the sun on my skin, and it uh, just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard the ship with you, my niece. Wish your aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Oh. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. How about the garden? Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it could use for some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It'll be called Caring for Plants from A to Z Zalia. Yeah, it doesn't ring as good as I uh, once said out loud. Maybe I'll need to work on the, uh, the name some more. Okay, they, they want a garden. You want some food? Berries? Stomach isn't rumbling yet. Okay. Hug time. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine? Should get some stuff. Is there something over here? Green Halt Bay. Yeah, what animal would you want to be once you die? Gorilla. That's pretty good. Uh, water the plants. Ooh. Ooh. I was ready ready to crop. I got coffee. Let's make some coffee. Cook. Coffee beans. Turtle or a tiny fluffy chihuahua. Got some coffee. Nice. Uh, let's make some corn. Um, I'll be a crab. How about that? Or cat? Nah, I don't want to be a cat. Cat's nice in theory, but it, I feel like there are just better options. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's gonna take a while to cook. Turtles and crabs have natural predators, or have natural predators though. Yeah, but you're dead. What do you care? You're dead. I mean, they talk about like, oh, I don't want to like die. You, you, but they're spirits already though. So they're dead. I don't know what the deal is. I can pick this up. Empty shell. There's stuff here. Okay. We're talking about the spiritual afterlife. Sorry, I missed that. Flying squirrel, maybe? Rat? Rat time. I want to be a rat. Tiger shrimp. You get shells on your ship while you sail. That's a neat touch. Maybe I can cook them as well. Green Halton Bay discovered. Shrimp cocktail. Uh. I can cook these. I don't know if I should do this now. When I'm like getting ready. You know what I should do is uh, I should look at what a garden requires. Oh, we can build one now. Heck yeah. Let's build one now. Uh, why can't I build one? Oh, I don't have enough room. Okay, I do have enough room, but it's going to be goofy. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build it there. And we're gonna move this down here. And we're gonna move this here. Yeah, that works. We could move this up here. Why don't we, like, move this up here? And then we have both the garden and farm like that is that awful I don't understand why this they both have to have a ladder like that I ate it I like having a tall uh, boat Yes, perfect. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well, then that makes us uh, just about ready to start on our first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. I hope you had a good meal then. I actually caught a lobster with a fishing pole once. Did you set it free? You, I, I ate it. I see. <laughs> So we're gonna have to go back to, um, what's the place? Hummingbird, so I can buy some garden seeds. Some of the effects in this game are outstanding. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Oh damn, still going. Heck yeah, bud. 
I'm going for another 40 minutes. Wow, berries. Oh, oh, God. oh boy. I love berries. These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. Have some berries. The service on the ship is incredible. I've got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Likes everything. Dislikes nothing. Favorite food? Who knows? Harvest wood, make plants. Fairy provides some sustenance to ring. I hate getting bitten. I hate insects so much while uh, fishing. Wow, berries! Not too disappointed. Did not mean to sound that way. What? What? Is the cycle of life, and I sincerely hope I had a delicious meal. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I hope I didn't imply that Mimesis was disappointed when I'm I'm at saying ate the lobster. Pincy, no. Rare uh, late season episode of The Simpsons that was actually good. Time to grow some more things. We gotta get some more seeds. Always forget to thank <laughs> Mimi. Thank you. Too kind. Alright. I'm gonna fish while I wait for my uh, mussels to cook. Anyone in chat ever had mussels? How do we feel about mussels? Oh, I got a message in a bottle. I don't know how to look at that. More mess- a small glim in a bottle. Okay. Do I get to keep the bottle? Mussels good. What about oysters? Never had them. I'm specifically talking about like the clams that you can eat. Never had mussels. They're good. I mean, they're kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I guess like fresh oysters are also like kind of a pain in the butt. Mussels are a bit more like, um, they're actually not as bad as uh, oysters. Oysters can be just like a huge pain to deal with because you have to learn how to shuck them and uh, also buying fresh oysters is a little bit tricky uh what animal would you be if you ever wanted to be one yeah we had this discussion because every, uh, oh, every animal we've, we've, um, or sorry, every person we've, that has turned into a spirit has been some kind of animal. Steam shellfish. I should put something else in the oven.
first time I tried them, I was working in a fancy three-story restaurant. As a waiter. Uh, worker food was amazing. I used to be a fishmonger, no joke. Um, I live near a, uh, uh, a famous-ish market, which I will not disclose. Uh, I used to work as a fishmonger there. Um, and their smoked salmon was amazing. And I 100% robbed them blind. <laughs> like, whenever I was manning basically the, the stall, um, in any way in which I could, like, grab the, the smoked salmon, I would. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a good person. Never, never, uh, you know, hunger, my hunger. 130 people banquet due to social anxiety. So, um, what do I do with these bottles? Can I, how do I access them? Music. Boat trajectory and clock. Requests cancel. Uh, change menu. Some of these uh, op uh, control choices are very strange. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little theft. Smoke salmon possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's go to bed. I was like, screw that after having a panic attack. That is a lot. I think we definitely need another house. Yeah, um, what's her face is not happy right now. We need more of that bright jelly. So let's, um, before we go to Hummingbird, let's go get some bright jelly. We are very close to one. Oh shoot, I was cooking something. I wonder, does it, does it, like, can you burn something? I know there's something shiny that walked by. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Have some coffee. That's sustenance, right? Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. Uh, I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life. This is certainly my favorite of all of them. Thank you very much. Hug time. Good morning, honeybee. Thank you. Okay, um... Gotta feed the frog real quick. Here. Delicious, I had a hankering for this. Um, you know what? Let's let's do this in a second. Uh, apparently we're okay for now. Jellyfish are here again. Remember, you just have to crash into them to make the light burst out. You won't get hurt and I will feel queasy. I know they will be back, but at least it will buy me a bit more time. What do you say? Yes. Don't be scared. They'll be coming straight for us. Smoked salmon sounds good. Have you not had smoked salmon? Not no judgment. I'm just like kind of envious. Wow, those are very high. can't reach those
I think that's all, all I'm gonna get for now. I'm gonna get a wild stack of cash. Though, oh, there's more. Hold on. Shoot, I missed some. I'm sorry. There we go. Now we're done. Uh, I did get a wild stack of cash though because I had a percentage of all that wasted money on that gathering. Um. Smoke salmon sounds good. What animal would you be if you wanted to be one? And welcome back if you left. I do not believe I have had smoked salmon before. I would be a smoked salmon and beloved by all. Do you want to hear a funny story? Yes. Des be like, what up, y'all? A smoking salmon? Yeah. My stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nimble on? Yes. Whoops. Uh, food. Have some muscles. Acquired taste. Oh no. No, no, no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't need any animal product. No breast milk, nor ova. Certainly they are not meant for our consumption. And the meat. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Okay. Berries it is. Thank you. I was quite hungry. Did, uh, did I give you food? Ooh. Salmon lore keepers, uh, do you know about that zombie salmon talk? When I was seven, I asked my father if I could get a rabbit and he said yes. I was overjoyed of the thought. Later that day at the table, I asked what it was we were eating since I didn't recognize it. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Did you eat it? Sorry if that's insensitive. I, uh, I, I, I'm just curious. Okay, what do we, do we have anything else here? Mm, no, not really. Okay. We got another room. There seems, uh, there seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it, don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about our, your uncle, Atul. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just don't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry, I'll be all right. Sorry, I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of the boat and take it in, in, in the splendor, you know? Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. Uh, I didn't know what it was I was eating. First time my parents made rabbit, I became a vegan for a whole week. Wish I had uh, one as a pet. They are cute. Rabbits, rabbit, rabbits are heck in taste. Yummy. I've got a surprise. I was hungry as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside the boat and gathered some berries, but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a wonderful day. It mimesis. Sharing the berries. Book time. Sorry, I'm okay now. Uh, I've got some fiber I bought. I was going to use it to weave some thread for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you now. Don't you want it? Yeah, here it is. Linen. Nice. No, no talk. Hug time. There you go. Hugging snakes. You're sweet. Uh, wait until you tell you about Elwood's dog meat farm. Oh no. What animal would you be if you wanted to be one? I really don't know.
Yo, a uh, griffin. Can we pick mythological creatures? Are mythological creatures on the table? Uh, so I guess we need a new location. We're gonna go to Hummingburg. If uh, mythological creatures are on the table, I feel like the entire discussion changes. So probably they shouldn't be on the table. I've, I've, I've destroyed the conversation again with my stupid uh, loophole logic. There it is. I think I would want to be a pigeon. Pigeon's a good answer. I'll keep my uh, normal answer to crab. Crabs are cool. I like crabs. And I became a vegan for the rest of my life, still counting. Let's do some fishing. Yeah, I wish I wish I had the conviction to stay uh, vegan or even vegetarian. Do not have yeah. Those animals are a bit too smart for me. What about like a dolphin or something? Dolphins are cool. I know dolphins are also jerks, but dolphins are cool. You know, uh, don't let a few uh, bad eggs spoil the dolphin crowd. Squiddy. Oh. Uh, uh, lightning bolt time, I think. A storm. Let's try and catch some lightning. Remember, your Everlight will protect you. What do you say? Sure. We'll get some money out of this. by accident please tell me I didn't build two kitchens I guess I could dismantle one if I did by accident highest point really easy for lightning gathering by accident which makes gathering money really easy the cat just got bolted that was good the cat can accidentally gather lightning i don't know if we get money for that Dolphins are mammals, Bimple. Can you not be a mammal? You just like crossed off half of the freaking Zoopedia. Also, are they mammals? Yeah, I guess they are. Are these? Oh, these are both kitchens. I built two kitchens like a dang fool. You can only build one of these. What? Really? Is there anything I can do with these things? Reference to the game Prey. What is glue? I was on a glue diet for past three years. Yummy yum glue. Okay. 
There's a few bad eggs. Yummy glue, love eating it. What? Bow, bow, bow. I don't know, I don't know. So we need to get some garden seeds. You're Stella, if I recall correctly. I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glims. Don't be shy, have a look, if you fancy. Garden. Turnip. Okay. Well, we can buy limestone and copper ore and maple logs here. Good to know. I don't think I need any of those things. The key for Hummingbird is 5,000 if I want. I do not like to eat something that is aware of its predicament. Chicken and fish are literally too dumb to care. Is that a sturdy value? <laughs> God. Um, chat has the potential to become spicy. I, uh, I am, I'm finished my coffee and, and are therefore sad. Come on now, I understand wanting to rationalize it, but saying chickens or fish don't care to, be, to live isn't that. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. I've always been uh, a pre preacher for love towards all living beings. For, you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold our to ourselves. This seems truer now, th now than ever. Back on my island, I was lonely, I sang to the flowers, and as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. Hold R to play the guitar. What? I'm, I'm holding R. Apparently holding R also opens the inventory? We can open these glims. And that gives us empty bottles. Nice. Too dark to navigate, it will be possible. Okay, this is what I want to use. There, okay, here we go. Yo, is this a Friday Night Funkin' reference? I think, I think that can go on and on forever. Uh, do we have to do it for like each plant? I think so.
the, the, the cat is uh, singing. Nice little touches on the song, like the extra little accompaniment coming in on each uh, like playthrough. Oh, there's one more we should do. Hold on. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I su suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. It might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. The strange coin has been tickling me since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Uh, love how they made the snake have hands like that. I was wondering, Bimple, I have a question. How do you feel handle comp compliments when they are given to you? You do not have to answer, of course. Uh, do you know? You know what OFC is OFC not uh, have a swear word in it? What is isn't is of OFC just of course? I always thought I always read it as something else. <laughs> um, that's a good question. I uh, have had to like create a um, acceptable response to compliments but for the most part I don't know how to accept them like I yeah I just like kind of go with it and it's not to say that they make me feel uncomfortable it's just that like I don't have a normal human response to compliments like uh, I don't feel bad but also do not feel necessarily like oh awesome thank you I'm glad like I'm I'm happy to make people happy. That's the intended response, but if it's like hey like uh you know I really like your art. I'm glad you are happy, like I'm glad I've done something for you, but like I also don't know, you know, cuz my my internal response is generally like, well, I disagree. <laughs> you have bad taste. My art is bad. You know, like that kind of thing. It's stupid. Um but that is the the you know, instant reaction. Uh, hold on. So the smarter, okay, hold on. There's an extra conversation happening about how smart something has to be to want to live. Uh, I hear what you're saying and I'll leave it at that just not to get into it. Marines, huzzah, eating crayons and glue is in our blood. Yep, you can extrapolate. Cute song. Uh, what helps with taking combos is that it's about what the person you're giving them feels not whether or not you feel deserving of them. That's a good way of putting it. So how many dumb people? Oh my god. I said extrapolate by yourself. Don't get me banned. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of that. I'm happy to hear that. I see. Sorry, I get your point, but it's too spicy to discuss here. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um... Still, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but uh, for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of, or the sea. Uh, air of the sea, or maybe the myth mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay. Uh, I missed the bell time. That's fine. Everyone's tired now. Have some berries. Oh, right. Um, have something else. Uh, could you have coffee? Thank you. There we go. Strange way to eat coffee, but whatever. Um, have some fish. Delicious. I had a hankering for this. 
I'm sorry I gave your coffee away, but you already had it. Oops, that, that was weird. I guess she's still tired, so it'll be a while before she's actually up. All right, let's go to the aforementioned um, spot on the map. Where, which is where? Here? Quartz Dragon? I don't know what that means. Is that where I'm going? You did good. Now I've got a real boat going, and you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A l nice little house, unpretentious, but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind from far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Gwen's Lodge. Well, we can build it, so let's do that. Uh, I just don't care about morals of what I eat. Uh, I haven't eaten meat when I was a child at all, though, because I felt bad. I'll generalize and say for most people, there's a lot of cognitive. Yep. There's absolutely a discussion happening in, in chat. Can we improve this? We need more wood. Oh, we need mate. We need plank. We can buy Walder decorations. That ups their happiness. We don't have the blueprints to improve anything else. What about the guest house? Nope. I love it! This is, this cabin is outstanding. I re it really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Why is your... why are you unhappy? I just gave you what you wanted. Hug time. This deer has three pairs of ears. Oh, yeah. Okay, how's your mood? Is hungry. Oh, did I not give you food? Have some popcorn. I'll take comfort food almost over almost anything else. There we go. So, eh, they are very happy now. Dislikes fruit. How's your mood doing? Okay, has been having unsettling dreams. We gotta take care of those. How are you doing? I took, I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose, but you know what would make it even greater? More plans! Bigger buildings, bigger, better pencils, I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's Shipyard here to help you out. All right, we'll have to take care of that. Got some more coffee. Gotta make sure we always have. Oh, we don't have any more coffee beans. I thought I would get coffee beans when I um, finished growing the plant, so that is kind of a wake-up call on my part. What? happening are we here Nicola is probably is a pathetic nerdlinger and don't have meat on what would be he be more eh, I'm not engaging in this one I thought that might be it the dragon I guess it is inevitable that it would be here following me always even in this world our destiny as well they're not inter they're intertwined are they not Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Oh, we have a, like a boss? Maybe?
This is some Dragon Ball business right here. Oh no! That didn't seem to do. It. Oh, oh. There's no like really failure in this game. Failing move is not to play. There you go. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? It, it? I don't think this is a dragon. It's more like a snake, right? Giant snake? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it for now, though I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Why are you sad? Why do they get sad when I do the thing? Has witnessed the dragon from her past. Oh, okay. I can't really do. Hug time? Yeah, there we go. Hugs make everything better. That's what I've learned from this game. Are you hungry? Talk? Not a fan of this weather. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we're gonna go back to Hummingburg and buy some more seeds because I've got tons of money. Actually, we should, we're probably closer to, um, oops, wrong, wrong thing. We're probably closer to, uh, Albert. So let's see if uh, we could do Albert. Hey, hello, Razanad. How long do you play games in a week? Uh, how long do you play games in a week? I'm kind of curious. Uh, well, um, besides streaming, Probably I play about uh, four to five hours a day. Is that is that a good answer? No judging me now. Mandatory greetings. The only failing move is not to play. Let's do some fishing. Wow, that's even more than I do. You're already at the dragon. Sheesh! That looked like something in the water. The the reflection in the water is not quite right. Perfect sea trash. Ooh, I got some coffee beans. That's exactly what I wanted. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay. One limestone, sure. It's four in the morning here, but yeah, good day. Wow, time flies fast with this game. It's uh, It's been good. I, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I wasn't sure you played a vi played video games. What do you play, Neville? What's your game of choice? Wee! 
Ui, ui. Asian. Wait, are you the, our first Asian Australian viewer? Yo. I don't know if the time I play in the day is like bad. Not really sure if I'm the first though. I don't really anymore. I was kidding. I literally installed Steam for that one stream, right? Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yo, Cod. What what if Cod was one of us? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I feel like we are from the same place. Let's call it a hunch. Blah 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 blah. Nice. Uh, I better make some coffee for what's her face. I don't know what those things are for. Cook. Coffee beans. Wish I had some coffee in real life. Mimesis knows. Mimesis got it. Jump down. Hello. How do I talk to you? Oh, there we go. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be. Yo, kick punch. It's all in the live. You must be the new spearfarer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Things. Too dark to navigate. Objects, curios, tchotchkes. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it that you want to part with? Uh, oh. Used to find guardians in another life. It no longer has any use. Should be sold. Soggy and smelly. Dusty but precious nonetheless. It makes you slightly dizzy if you looked at it too long. Should be sold. Yo, is this a uh, Shining reference? That's a very good joke for uh, two, like, two people on this planet. Beautiful specimen of the one true ring. What? Yo, is this a Lord of the Rings reference? But this one doesn't rule anything. Yo, it actually is a Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Errands, daily quests. Uh, okay. Buy. Oh, I can buy my stuff back. Odd seed. What's this? When planted in the garden, it could turn into anything. Hopefully, something good. Buy some empty bottles if I wish. Sure. Let's just buy them all. And that way, I don't have to worry about empty bottles for a while. I'll buy my corn back. Thank you very much. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Karen wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, uh, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. And he keep, kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. If ever needed, old Francis will never be too far away. But don't let me be an imped impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, sail. Get sail. Set sail, little blue jacket. Cool. Uh, they just got the coffee out of the oven. How strange. Unlike Bimple who microwaves it. It's not that different. Alright, hold on. I've been getting your... Oh, no. hold on. 
I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. The Intrepid Otter is a medium-sized boat that will make your make you slip away in style. Uh, I don't have anything I, the, that is required for the mailbox, so... Can I build this? No. No, I cannot. So let's just uh, build a boat. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. That's all I can get away with without YouTube literally destroying me. It's too dark to navigate. It will be possible again at dawn. Sorry, I was trying to find the right button. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Let's uh, plant some coffee. And we're going to sing to the coffee. Pressing it. Yo, I'm pressing it though. Whatever. Good enough. Uh, that song is copyrighted by Big Corn. <laughs> the cat sings. It is pretty cute. Turkey is again too far, but I am around South Asia. No need to disclose. No need. No need. Just guessing. Melody it gets a bit repetitive. A little bit. I kind of wish it would. It would. Maybe you can. Uh, maybe it develops later and get a better guitar or something. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. I've got the surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that? I think I need a place to focus on my, uh, focus that energy. In a sawmill, yeah. You're just missing some of the key components, materials, which I'm sure you can find in, on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Okay, yeah, I, I was getting on it. Let's see what we need for the sawmill. Just need linen thread, which means I need the loom. Uh, the loom. Time to start weaving those fibers into shiny thread. Uh, and then we can start... And once I've done that a little bit... You're upgrade, you've upgraded your boat! That's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. He was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see here. Oh, this boat's got some advanced options now. 
First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. When you're using your map, you just need to toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. Don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? The engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Uh, well, have fun. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been very tired recently, and I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it might be, is not very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and uh, quite cramped. I hate to ask of this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tre tremendously. Then we could continue our lessons. Nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate, with a lush greenery, perhaps. And, oh, I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Mm -hmm. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then you spin. Just have to make sure you hit the target. Mm -hmm. and you get a little extra if you hit the marker uh, needle. It's going to sound offensive, but I'll have to get a map. Burma? Thailand? It's not really a well-known country. Bangladesh? Button? Bhutan? Nobody lives in Bhutan. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Fiber! I have a story about fiber. I know, that's weird, but I do. A bundle of rough stalks from the flax uh, crop to be woven into linen, linen thread. We could do basically as much as we want. I wish holding the button down would just add the whole stack. Uh. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work, you just have to flow with it. That's what makes it so soothing. Mm -hmm. Rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it, utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go at, uh, at uh, give a go at it myself when you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the materials, I'll manage. Nice. It's like Denmark, that doesn't exist either. Yeah, Denmark's not a place. Don't lie to me. You're just part of Denmark Gate. We should have enough for the sawmill now. We do. Things are getting kind of ridiculous now. Hold on a second. We'll build it, and then I'm going to move it. Something tells me um, some people like to be positioned in certain areas. So I'm assuming... Uh, what's her name? Stella is going to want to be near the, lo the loom. Really not sure, um, honestly. What if I do this? Oh, I see. I can swap, and that's what that means. And I can place this on top if I wanted to. I can do some really weird stuff in this game. It's kind of cool. I, I actually really like um, the customization in this game. We'll do this. And then this, and then we'll put the loom, like, right next to Stella's house. We'll see if that gives her a benefit at all. I haven't fed them yet. Hold on a second. I'm starving. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Wait, Stella. Food. Take a cup of coffee any day. Hug time. Uh, I like the mini games, by the way. Nice, simple, busy work. Not too complicated. 
Thank you for letting us guess. This game is wholesome, like really relaxing, which is the main thing. Yeah, you know, it's a nice change. I've been playing a lot of, uh, you know, let me put it honestly, not wholesome games. I still like them, but I'm, I have varied tastes, you know. This looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now, don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. I'm assuming we can do some of this now. Oh, there's... Yeah, okay. Is, this a, is there a mini game here, or am I just like... Oh, I see. So... That didn't work. You're doing it all wrong. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are, are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice, cut. Just need to keep your saw blade steady and, and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm. Something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now. Tricky. Would you look at that? Depending on how you do, you do you get more uh, logs or more uh, planks. This is something uh, an analog stick would be better at than a keyboard. Damn it. I'm not good at this. Oops. You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful of the sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some more uh, some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. Just a few hinges here, a few nails in here. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Okay, let's start building some houses. Um, so I can't afford... I thought I just... Oh, I need oak planks. Oh god, there's different kinds of planks. And I can't do a tulls workshop either. So I'm missing oak planks, limestone, and maple planks. I'm missing everything. Sure is nice hanging with your dead family. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I'm sorry, this was really cool to guess. I know nothing about your region of the world. Sure is nice hanging with you. Measure once, cut twice, nods. Uh, classic tales about missing fingers that are present in any class is about heavy machinery. Scary. Reasonable sphere. I'm okay with people knowing where I am. I enjoyed you guys trying to guess. I wonder if those carrots are done growing. They've been growing for a while now. Radish. Radish. Radish light. That's a, there's a reference for you. Yeah. Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I'd stumbled upon long some time ago. Up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit I've been actively trying to avoid mm -hmm. it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. And as I've spent much time uh, with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this mm -hmm. challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. We got a lot of dialogue right now. Also, guys, it's 520, so I'm probably going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Vivi, or Vive would call it a laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. 
I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. I wonder how Karen dealt with all of this stuff. I want coffee. I want popcorn. You're getting ash again. Ash in your mouth. <laughs> Being afraid of accidents is how you stay, stay clear of them. What if it makes you shake your hands shake to be nervous? We, we better plant some more stuff. Can you say my name, please? Uh, Risenad? Is it Risenad? Or is it... Uh, I'm not going to say Risenad. That, that sounds weird. Is it Risenad? Being afraid. I'm okay with people knowing. I had a handiwork class. I don't know how to call it. We worked with sawmills, built chairs and such. A carpentry class, yes. Our teacher had three fingers on his right hand. Ouch. It's fun and wholesome. I'm glad. I keep forgetting to, um... Uh, let's sing to this weirdo plant. I keep forgetting to do Katamari, by the way. I haven't forgotten about that. How did you find big? I mean, what prompted you to click on the random video about a random game when you barely play video games at all? Good question. I'm, I am also curious about this one. We got some maple logs, some empty bottles. Some limestone, which is good. We need that. We're almost at our destination. I guess we could um we can do this island real quick. Uh no we can't. Because I'm not there, I guess. Shucks. I think I once watched a single cud video of his, but I only really enjoy uh, joining you guys at the CDDA stream. Do you play CDDA, Neville? Were you the one, like, uh, one of one of the people who was like throwing tips at me? So that, that I wasn't bad at the at the video game. I might return to CDDA. I, I would kind of want to do a, a conversion uh, pack. I'm sure I would want to talk to you guys first about what what uh, you know conversion pack is worth my time, or worth our time, I should say. Oh, I gotta ring the bell. Oh. All right, um, I gave you that last time. Do I have anything else I can give you? I can give you the coffee. Um, you get, um, popcorn.
and um, Frago gets grilled fish. I had a hankering for this. Quick time. There has been a lot of de development since you last played CDDA. Really? Um, big when he tried to pl uh, tried playing Caves of Cud. No relief, nothing. I didn't really matter to me. It mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I have long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Doing good? I see you've been taking good care of your plants. That's good. I hope my techniques are helping you in some ways. I used to be quite the little soldier. Uh, Midfield State University. Agri agronomical engineer, a class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of these big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land, several thousands of acres. I was to maximize the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. Crammed the field full of uh, transgenic seeds. And in when insects came, I doused them with poison. And when the soil turned gray, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great powerful stems grew upon these grounds. And plentiful, unnaturally enormous cobs. But underneath all laid an unfathomable uh, sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with a the dragon then, sooner or later. Hankerin ha has library of ruin, ruin of PTSD flashbacks. I don't have any of these works anymore. I just handed them down as gift as such like ornate wooden dagger for my brother or some things he put under hot dishes and pan. Can I, um, how come I can't go? What? What is happening right now? Where am I? Where's the island? Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. Save and quit. I've uh, done my chores. Join the Thunder Lotus family. Welcome to the big simp crew. <laughs> All right, chat. 